when Hanuman said treat the man in disease, every homeopath started taking man in his own sense. For example, every homeopath today started taking man in his own way. Some thought that only mind is man. Some thought only this uh, feelings are man. Some thought it is illusion, delusion is man. Some thought it is the uh, disease symptoms or rather uh, physicals are man. You know? So the man was misinterpreted. This way, you know, that is why homeopathy went down. That is why exactly the vagueness of his teachings that were ahead of science. Why it was ahead of science and that why they were vague? <coughs> because that time genetics were not discovered. Genes were not discovered. And that's why it gave an opportunity to various homeopaths to understand man in their own way. Kut ka bana ke rak diya. That is not right. Stick to Hanuman and see how scientific he was. You try to see in the homeopathic books and the allopathic books and you will see a lot of similarity because it belongs to man as a whole. Next. There are some physical or body homeopaths, some are only mind or mental homeopaths. But there are very few who are holistic. Mental homeopaths. <laughs> Next. Now what is a disease? Disease or illness is a body's warning system. Remember that. Disease is not disease. Don't be against diseases. It is a warning system. Just like in the light light, like red light, green light, yellow light. Eh? Similarly, body is start telling you that something is wrong somewhere. And that is not to be covered up. If you try to just cover up the warning system lights, what will happen? Oil khatam ho and you are covering. Break oil is gone, you are covering. You'll, that will be fatal. So also, if you try to just cover the disease. Hello. So also, when you try to cover only the disease, you are it is very dangerous. Don't try to just treat the disease in man. Disease is a friend. At least it starts as one. And it starts from as a defense mechanism. Anybody is aware of miasms or no? Yeah, what is a miasm? Chalo. Don't, those who have attended my lectures and clinic, don't answer. I want it from the youngsters. Yes? Kuch miasm ke baare mein pata hai? Your final... Yes? Without myism, you can, there cannot be homeopathy. Why? What is myism, first of all? <coughs> cause of chronic disease. Huh? It's a cause. <coughs> but suppose now from the uh, point of view of science, what will it say? Have you done pathology? Huh? So, have you learnt uh, that trauma, injury to a cell? What are the reactions? One, one, one at a time. Tell me. When a cell gets injured, what happens? Huh? Inflammation. Only inflammation takes place? Inflammation. Somebody says necrosis. Apoptosis, apolysis, huh? what else? Depletion of ATP. Huh? Depletion of ATP. What is that? Depletion of ATP molecules. Depletion of ATP molecules. <coughs> so, you all have learned this. And I am very happy to know that at least pathology you know. So, suppose any body part is diseased. Huh? Suppose a person is having acidity, hyperacidity. What does it mean? But then why is the burning coming on? It is going to the cell and excreting the cell, cell mucosa and it is burning. Huh? Okay? So that is inflammation there. What else happens there? <coughs> what else happens? Huh? What else happens? After something is eroded, what happens? Ulceration. Before that, 
Hypersensitivity, na? Sensitization. What else? What can take? What else can happen? Huh? If it is inside your stomach or in a, in a, a tube, what will happen? Constriction, spasm. Isn't it? So this is what happens if the tissue is inflamed or injured. Then it straight away goes into necrosis. Then? Swelling. But what happened? This is acute inflammation. Huh? So acute inflammation ke baad mein kya hai? Chronic inflammation. Chronic inflammation is what? Are you hearing me? Last, I mean the first year and second year. See, what is a disease? Disease means what? Some tissue is not working well. When will not? Uh, when will something not work well? When will you, one of you are not work well? When you are indisposed. Is it? it? Indisposed. When you are ill. So when a cell is ill. So what is inflammation? It is a, it amounts to defense and repair. No? And all the diseases therefore are defenses at work. In magazine March 2004, uh, this Time magazine, that even researchers believe that same system that causes inflammation around the wound can, when the response becomes chronic, play an important role in broad range of illnesses from heart diseases to Alzheimer's and to simplify, uh, yes, a very simplified, uh, this thing. They have even done a research on this that everything starts with inflammation. Right? So whenever a tissue is injured, inflammation takes place. A splinter in a finger it triggers an inflammatory response which can go to heart disease or even Alzheimer's. How? So let us now try to understand this. Hmm? So whole go ahead. Any disease or disorder arises only when a cell or tissue is injured. Cell injury takes place. <coughs> Next. Hostile wall. This is hostile wall and So, uh, this is a cell and this is a man. Man is represented by a cell. Cell is a unit of life. So, whenever any hostile things like virus, bacteria, see, like bacteria, virus, chemicals, emotions, anything attack this cell, the cell fights back because survival of the fittest is the rule of the world. Isn't it? When it fights back, it gives rise to inflammation. Next. So, there are two types of defense mechanism which takes place, you all are forgetting this. First is primary defense, which is physiological and secondary, which is morphological. Hmm? So, what is primary inflammation? Primary is always physiological defense mechanism and secondary is morphological. What is morphology means what? Change and structure. Hmm? So, structure changes. Then it is it gives us to two. Hmm? Next, the second one. The first one, change in chemistry, which causes primary physiological changes, and that gives rise to inflammation. Go ahead. Change yoga either, and then it gives rise to inflammation, irritation, oversensitivity to touch, as she just now mentioned. Again. Hmm? No living organism can ever exist without this. Next. If this is not sufficient, if inflammation is not sufficient, body will switch the gear to second <coughs> so, yeah. And what is that second? Structural. The structural may do it. Fortification and destruction. Fortification, that means other mutual kuch. If I am attacking her, because she will get irritated, angry and use the physiology to get out of way. But if 
it is not possible, then she will take a big takya or a big cardboard or a book to block my attack. So what happens? Now she is safe. She is hiding behind. This is known as fortification. Tum chupte ho, kuch iske piche. Fortification, that means one barrier. Okay? Is created. Destruction. Agar, ye, if this is also not sufficient. If that hiding <coughs> behind a strong, this thing is not sufficient, then what do you do? That the person will either cut off his own hand or cut off the other's hand. Do you get my point? Na rega pass, na bajegi pass. So also, when your uh, shoe is hurting you, shoe might hurt you. Pehla kya hota hai? Inflammation, irritation. But you go on wearing the same shoes, what will happen? Thickening ho jata hai. Kaun ho jata hai. We call it disease. It is not disease. It is a different mechanism. It is like putting a helmet to prevent your Lekin agar ho bhi kama ye nahi hai, sufficient nahi hai, to what will happen? Ulceration takes place. And that part, part is shared, so that it is not hurt. That part is not hurt. So, we have two more. Next please. So, we have got three types of <coughs> defense mechanism. One is inflammatory. One is fortification of construction, or another is, third one is destruction. All the diseases in the world are divided into these three. I close and thrown out. Again up. But disease is defense mechanism at work. It is defense, you know. Next. Next. So this is, uh, and all this is in mind as well as body. Because as we understood, genes are controlling mind as well as body. Next. Defenses are all governed by the genes. Next. Next. So all these things are governed by the genes only. Next. Go ahead. Again. Uh, abhi now, in aphorism number 74, he kine padha hai He says, when a cell is injured, what happens? Hanuman says that in order to maintain life, in order to maintain life means defense mechanism. The body tries to deprive some part of its irritability and sensibility or exalt this to an excessive degree. Hena? This which is Sora, cause dilatation, contraction, relaxation and induration, psychosis, or total destruction of certain parts and develop faulty organic alteration here and there in interior exterior syphilis. All this why? Because in order to, in order to, to preserve the organism from complete destruction. Do you get my point? Sora, psychosis, syphilis <coughs> are three defensive mechanisms at the genetic level. That is inflammation, growth and ulceration. That's why at that time these scientific words were not available. So Hanuman said each word and ulceration, shankar. Do you get this? How easy it is? Sora, psychosis, syphilis are the processes at the genetic level which either give rise to inflammatory, inflammatory conditions or growth or destruction. It is as simple as that. But our homeopaths have made it so complicated that when I used to lead, uh, learn myasms, I to sleep in the class. <laughs> because the same, na? <laughs> because the teacher is to teach the same symptoms in Sora also, psychosis also. <laughs> so at the end of the day, during exams, ek hi kuch baat karke jaane ka, tino mein likhne ka. Pehna ha 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 because the professor themselves don't know. 
लिखा है ना पास बट इफ यू गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस इट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट देयर आर थ्री बेसिक टाइप ऑफ डिजीजेस रिमेंबर दिस इतना खाली रिमेंबर करेंगे ना तो द होल माइजम इज क्लियर होल माइजम गेट्स क्लियर आगे जाने रेवोल्यूशन इट इज रेवोल्यूशन सो फिजियोलॉजी रिप्रोडक्ट वो बाद में आज करेंगे अभी नहीं गो टू दिन प्रीवियस why that also uh, reason is there why it happened as somebody mentioned just now the uh, dna uh, no, sorry atp is reduced so what are the physiological uh, changes which occur during inflammation do you know that hmm? aerobic aerobic cycle gets cut off eh malum hai na all everything is included in the mesom but we we'll discuss about it in a detailed manner because this is not the platform for that i have i can give lecture on myism for 8 days day in india ha go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead go ahead so every tissue whenever it is injured what happens first defense is tendency to inflammation second defense fortification tendency to growth and accumulation and third defense destroy a part to save the whole is it clear Is myism simple or not? Yes. Myism is very simple. It has been made made impossible and confused. But when if you take the help of modern science, you will find myism is so easy. So anything where there is inflammation, it comes to acute inflammation, not chronic. Chronic inflammation goes to here. Uh, chronic inflammation is in duration, fortification, tendency to growth and accumulation, which gives rise to wars. Abroids, etc. There are other factors also inside it. We'll take talk in a little bit later. And third is to save the whole, destroy, distort, or make a tissue abnormal. Next, please. This means all the illnesses of man can be clubbed into three types. So all that you have to do when a patient comes to you is that you have to find out what is the process going at the genetic level. See, remember this is so simple. Or this is reflected by this is the genes, so it will be reflected in the mind and body, mind and body, mind and body. So if you are see what is happening today, homeopaths are just going blindly. They take some symptoms here and there and just trying to add up symptom and try. Laga to laga, ne to tukka. I said no, this is not like that. It is mathematics. If you know that there is some syphilitic disease going on. You have to take into consideration the syphilitic aspect of the patient, mentally as well as physically. But you should know, for that matter, what are the syphilitic symptoms of mind? In intellect, in memory, in every, in in everything, behavior, emotions. So this, if you learn properly, it becomes very easy, simple. So when you get, रात को उठा के भी कोई पूछेगा तो you will say yes, this is syphilitic, and you say this. And that is why it becomes intuition. <laughs> you understand? There has to be some frames and structure. For me, but it is not a blind man's uh, this thing. कोई बोलता है कि ये हाथी का पक पक है कि खंबा है ये पक पेड़ है ये वो देख बड़ा स्नेक है एक पाइप है ऐसे This is what has happened to me, but it because people are just blindly going. Up. Have a base for your knowledge, and that scientific base. Homeopathy okay, is not unscientific. It was discovered by who? A MD physician. So he was much more intelligent than our homeopaths today. Our homeopaths are just doing anything, everything in the air. In the air, nothing is going on. Everything should be concrete. And ten different people or hundred different people should come to the same medicine. Then it is mathematics. Otherwise, our individualization is what happens. Everybody comes to a different medicine. <laughs> same medicine, same. This uh, patient is going to go everywhere. Ah, doctor. And even say individualization. For me, she is not swamika. That is equal to dilla. Same thing. Go ahead. So these are the uh, different diseases. <coughs> 
that is different. Of course, when we do it in details, you will understand how these are accumulator and growth tendencies, inflammatory tendencies, and the destructive tendencies like cancer, bad disease, ulcer, or destructive diseases are circulating, frankly. Similarly, go ahead. Now, when an injury occurs, what? Inflammation occurs. That inflammation it gets transferred into thickening and then goes into destruction. This is a cycle which continues. If a person does not have psychosis in him, it will go from year to year, as somebody said, from inflammation to necrosis. That means the patient has sorosyphilitic constitution. If it is soro-psychotic, he will get stuck up here, he will never go to a destruction at all. Thickening, he will get stuck up here. This is a genetic factor of what you have inherited from your parents. Now, a girl who is injured here, inflammation takes place, thickening is occur, destruction. So, brain tumor is nothing but a Sora, psychosis and syphilis. So somewhere it was Sora, then it has become psychosis, psychotic defense and now it is destroying her, <coughs> piece of her, uh, sight or hearing etc. All that if you have to, you have to cure is here, not this tumor, not this destruction. You have to reverse the whole process and that's why reversal is very important. Those homeopaths who do not believe in reversal of the disease are not homeopaths at all. Those homeopaths who do not talk about healing law are not homeopaths at all. And those homeopaths who do not believe in myism are not homeopaths. They are pseudo homeopaths. <coughs> and I challenge anybody to show me good cases of higher order, not lower order. Or Sardi, Ghazi, Kujli, Sabdok, even uh, a panwala can give results. Not Swamika, constipation is relevant. Now, medicine here. Next. The same genetic code always uh, stays in the mind also. Same thing. So, what will happen? Next. These are the different, different types of mental attributes which come. That we will discuss. This is logic. Don't try to mug up. We will discuss gradually as days go by. Don't do that. Hmm? Okay? There was a child with this girl is a, uh, this, these two are homeopaths. That child is having medulloblastoma. How are you? What are you doing? This is progression. On 13th and 14th November 2005, she, the child went, woke up with a uh, severe headache and vomiting. She started vomiting. She was uh, then she she gave some natural salts and some, some medicines were given. I will go in short. And the child became okay. After exactly one month, uh, 13, 14 uh, December, she again woke up with severe vomiting and headache and she could not be controlled with homeopathy nor with allopathy and they took her to the hospital, x-ray was taken and they found that this child had medulloblastoma, brain tumor. This medulloblastoma was operated upon on 23rd of December. And within 15 days, it regrew again, so fast growing. And she lost her eyesight. Now she is blind here. She is completely blind. She cannot be kept, uh, she cannot straighten her legs, she cannot stand, she cannot walk, nothing. Let us go fast now. Two of them are not touch any business. This is the history.
the child's eyes are closed, she cannot open her eyes, cannot see anything. show you what happened. Huh. Put it up. She was having metalloblastoma with symptoms of blindness, inability to balance, therefore cannot walk. Hmm? She cannot walk, cannot talk, cannot see, cannot eat, cannot straighten her legs. She started crying with severe headache. Go ahead, I have done it in short. 18 December CT scan showed SOL, Agija. Query astrocytoma involving cerebellum. That's why she could not walk. Agija. In October 2003, there was a quarrel between a father and grandfather. Grandfather used to like her very much. He used to take care of her and take out to her, uh, take her out to play in parks and all. Suddenly, the relation between her parents and the grandfather got spoiled. She stopped talking to her. He stopped. Grandfather stopped talking to her and even refused to take her out. She was very close to her grandfather. She felt very hurt and she complained to her father that grandfather is not taking me. Next. Then she got angry on him. Now she has stopped talking to him and does not bother <coughs> about her. Then uh, she is hot, thirstless, midline, extra axial, vermium, SOL, etc., etc., etc. Now, what did I try to find out? What is her will according to aphorism number 5? See here, what are we treating? We are not treating her brain tumor at all. So we should try and avoid taking all her particular symptoms. We have to treat her. What is she? What is her will? Genetically, what comes from the genes? Will, intellect, morals, speed. These are all emotions, emotional reactions. These are what we are trying to assess. We are trying to assess her genetic code. Because I see TK, she was very clever, she was very good at uh, studies, always first in line, she did not want it to go down. She was, she did not, she was very dominating, dictatorial. If some, uh, 
is to, uh, her friends is to come to her house. If they said that they will not agree with her, she would just take her, take them out, show them that chappal, <laughs> and tell them to go. This was the dominance. So somewhere some dominating remedy. And what happened when the father and the uh, grandfather quarrel? Grandfather stopped taking her out. So she felt very bad. But what is her reaction? She stopped talking to the grandfather. So though she is shy and bashful, she does not talk to anyone, to stranger. She is very timid, cautious. She has very fearful nature, fear of animals, etc. Now what happens? We homeopaths start taking this into fear of animals, fear of this. It should not be done. Take into concept fearful, timid. Try to see the whole genetic setup rather than small, small things. If you go to small, small things, you will get lost. Try to understand that what is she at the genetic level? What is her disposition? She is an angry disposition. She is very timid. She is dominating. Hmm? And what is the reaction? Indifference. Reaction is just stop talking or get out. If you don't agree with me, get out. Huh? Okay, yeah. Basically, very intelligent. Hmm? Good at drawing. Good at drawing. Good at love music. Okay, yeah. Models very good. Too mature for the age. What her parents tell her, she obeys, she attends conferences with her parents, quit sits quietly. This girl at the age of this 6-7 years already had attended my 5-6 conferences, seminar. She used to come and sit behind. Mother says she is not a nuisance like other children. She keeps all her ties very neatly, never breaks anyone. So very matured, very careful in handling her things. If she removes anything from the wrapper, puts it back again, very fastidious. Arrangement of the book is disturbed when she gets, then she gets angry. Her diaries, books, pencils, everything should be in order. With other children, she is very bossy as you said just now. And reaction is that either she weeps and cuts off the relationship. She cannot bear anybody not following her. I get it. Now, what had happened in the first, she developed some diarrhea. She took vaccination on 22nd October. Then she developed diarrhea, which was treated with Dalkamara. Then she developed headache at 3 a.m. 14 November. Then recurrence of the headache, and then that means she was better here for a month or so, and then she developed this, and again then she. Uh, an MRI then revealed medulloblastoma. In between here, there was a fight between the parents. Next. Right. So this was a sonic defense inflammation. I think this here or here somewhere, there was a fight between the parents. Vaccination also and later on this. Then diarrhea, sonic defense. Inflammation had taken place. Then she, her sora was soric defense, that means diarrhea, was suppressed with dalkamana. Hmm? It went ahead. Go ahead. I will show you what happened actually. Sensitization, trauma by vaccination. Then soric inflammation <coughs> causing loose motion to throw out the toxin. When this trauma occurred, mind as well as by body. Her trauma, why, uh, why is the trauma occurring because of uh, her uh, quarrel? It's because when she got angry on the uh, father, adrenaline starts getting secreted by the grandfather. This adrenaline brings up inflammation in the abdomen. At the same time, vaccination was given. Vaccination <coughs> causes irritation in the abdomen. So, uh, irritation in the stomach. So, inflammation starts in the, this thing, which was suppressed. This inflammation caused diarrhea 
because body wanted to throw it out. No, any foreign body, body tries to throw out. So, diarrhea is a defense mechanism which unfortunately was treated at the local level. Instead of treating her as a whole, we said, no. So, uh, instead of treating her as a whole, what was done? Her only diarrhea was suppressed. What happened? The inflammation then traveled. What is that? Upcome. What is that? Ah. Inflammation which was in the abdomen traveled upwards. Go ahead. And inflammation went into the brain. So, sora, that means inflammation, travelled from here to here. See, every inflammation travels. It does not <coughs> remain there. It has to travel from more important to less important organ. Uske badle mein, less important to more important organ. And a tumour. Secondly, the, the inflammation travelled up and then finally it turned into a tumour. Do you understand this? This is how we have to understand what is happening inside the human body. First, trauma, inflammation, sora, sora, how it was suppressed, and then it went to psychosis and trauma. Next. Next. So, first headache on 14th November was purely soric headache. If here right medicine would have been given, tumor would not have occurred. But they gave only medicine to suppress it. That's why it went higher and higher to the brain. Next. Call that home. Abhina, Agira. So, 14 November, what happened was before that, she had, as, a, as we said, neglect and insult and anger was there. Vaccination was given at the same time. Then, 14 November, inflammation developed here causing headache on 14th November. Here, if right, right medicine would have been given, her consciousness medicine would have been given, she would have not gone further, but it went into psychosis, sora to psychosis, then it was operated, and then it went into syphilis by causing blindness, loss of balance, etc. <coughs> so, same thing what I showed show just now, that how inflammation had travelled from sora to psychosis to syphilis how she got this tumour and destruction started. That's why she went in for destruction. Okay? Uh, go in for video. The short, short one is long other. Don't take the long one. Short one is long. Yes, search one started seeing something because she started keeping her eyes open. Dekho. After three and two months, is it on that? 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 
पीछे पीछे हाथ पीछे हाथ पीछे हाथ पीछे आई लेफ्ट आर्डिंग टू बी ओपन नाउ सी दैट थ्री मंथ्स लेटर इन 2005 such cases are there i think many of you all have come already we see thousands of patients some of the cases i'll just show you this child was completely blind he could not walk he could not talk he could not do anything now let us see after six months 6 months after this child has there is our our treatments within 6 months he has started walking she has started started talking mother says still he cannot see this is not there as a doctor said pun kharto ani geto he cannot see he ba
Now mother says he is blind and he cannot see. If you are a real homeopath, you will not believe her. Why? Because if my treatment is for the man, I have not treated his legs or his speech. Vacha a gai, legs a gai. Okay, say okay. It is less important. What is more important? Yes. God gives you eyes before He gives you limbs. Isn't it? To walk. When a child is born, he is born with sight, not with legs first. Legs are there, huh? Let's open it. Yes and no. So that means, if my medicine is working properly, his eyesight will be there. I said, how can his legs come without eyesight? How can his speech come without his eyesight? Something is gone wrong somewhere. So, I, I started trying See this poverty. What you have to understand is this is the poverty which is existing in our India, where the mother does not have time to look after the children. And they are not bothered. They are, of course, because they are busy earning for themselves. But that earning is necessity, not for their luxuries, but for necessities. And that, remember that they don't have money to eat every day. Aise logon ke liye humayabadi banai ghi hai. If I tell them to go to a yellow path, does she have money? Scan, 5,000 rupees, 10,000 rupees, this scan, that scan, this extra genetic karyotyping, and lakhs of rupees are spent in time. Finally, answer is, same. No cure available. And what we are doing here? Only single dose and the patient comes to Kitna, not even one paisa. Now you must not be doing what is paisa. No? <laughs> yeah? Your one dose will cost how much? Uh, one hundredth of a rupee. And you can cure them. So you you have that capacity. <coughs> you, have got that, you have got that knowledge. You tell only to be sharpened. Let us see now. He can't see. <laughs> But see the happiness in her face, na? This man, Mr. Pancha, lost his vision after uh, tubercular meningitis. And he was given a certificate, 100% blind. Look, you see what he's doing? Stop that and go to a certificate. No, no. Certificate. लाइन में पंचायत सर्टिफिकेट क्या था सर्टिफिकेट आलो See, uh, he was treated in KM hospital and then uh, he just said that he is completely blind. Blind. Blind Nikala, blind Panchal Nikala, Kali. Rajendra Nikala, Kutbi Nikala, blind. 
This is after six years of blindness she came to us. Uh, six years, she was completely blind and she was given this certificate. She was given the certificate 100% blind. Hundred percent blind. She was completely normal before that. She was an artist. She was an artist. Then she developed chicken pox, for which she took medicines. After allopathic medicine taken for chicken pox, uh, pox in Orissa, eyes became full blood red and she got inflammation. Irritation, inflammation, whatever medicines had caused, we don't know whether it was medicine or whether it was a chicken pox virus which went here. And after that, her eye, she was given eye drops and antibiotics and all and everything vanished. Tell me how the disease had travelled. As a homeopath, first you should be a physician, then a homeopath. Bola, pehla kya hua? Pehla kya hota hai? Injury. Injury causes? Inflammation. So inflammation was either due to the virus or due to antibiotics. Doctor said it is due to sulfadiazine or some antibiotics. Hmm? So inflammation, then what did they give you? Drops to put. Eye drops hai na? Eye drops causes what? Usma steroids hai. So it suppresses the inflammation. So that inflammation, suppression inflammation goes where? Disappears? It goes deeper into the retina. What happens to the retina? Inflammation. So if retina is inflamed, what happens? Suppose if your hand is inflamed, so then you are afraid that this will touch, this will touch, everything will touch, no? Huh? And it will, it will give you pain. It will become hypersensitive. So retina becomes what? Sensitive. Hypersensitive to what? Photophobia. Photophobia. So when photophobia occurs, what is the defense mechanism? What will the body try to do? Cover it up. Stop. And I stop the, uh, the light from coming into my eyes because they are getting damaged. Do you understand this? So body develops what? Thickening. In duration, which you call as second psychosis. Fortification. So, this thickening which occurs is what? Defense mechanism. So, even if doctors try to scrape it off, it is going to come back again. As long as the inflammation is there inside the eyes. Do you get the point? Yes. So, if you want, and that's why allopathic doctors say this is incurable. Why? Because the more you try to scrape off, the more it will become white and opacified. Why? Because they cannot reach the retina and remain, remove the inflammation. So our duty is to, Cures. how to re remove, remove this retina. thickness? Retina. Remove the inflammation. <coughs> if healing takes place, this tire is not required. Do you get the point? Yes. So what happened? Right, it had gone from right to left and the left got cleared first. Right has taken a considerable long time. Anyway, again we'll see that case. So, hundred percent right. Visual ability nil. See that. And she was bought like that by parents. Imagine twenty-five year old girl. Shadi ni huye, and she, the parents are bringing her, and within eight months. What happens? Completely whiteness is gone. Why? Because of inflammation inside. Why? Now the retina was no more afraid to face the light. So the covering was removed. Now she had another eight months. She started drawing and bending again. She brought it to my clinic. She started playing cards 
She started playing Kera. She had exactly striker up there. Again, exactly she is hitting that flag. Mera bhi nahi lagta hai. Stop. So, what did you infer from this? That treat the whole patient as a whole. The inflammatory tendency should go. The tendency goes away. The defense mechanism goes away. All the diseases are defense mechanism. So that defense mechanism is no more required. Do you understand this? Whether it is this, whether it is an induration, it is anything. Now this is another child who are born blind. They took it to all, all parts of the world. They took uh, the patient to Henry uh, uh, Prasad, then Kao, Shankar Netrale in Hyderabad. Chennai, they said nothing can be done because the child is born without pupils. There are no pupils at all. Just see. <coughs> Such a chubby child. No eyes. ऐसे फिर रास्ते पे दिखते सिग्नल पे दिखते हैं ना हाँ आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट आई स्टार्टेड ऑपिंग आउट सी दैट हैव यू सी दैट व्हाई देख मैं व्हाई वाज देन व्हाट इज दिस कंडीशन नोन एस टेल मी स्क्लेरो यस स्क्लेरो धर्मा your dharma is king. You are right, half right. Clero? Cornea. Eh? So that cornea is clerosed. Right since birth. Means what has happened? Can it drop from the sky? Which is the, which is the uh, myasm? Psychosis. If psychosis has come, can psychosis occur without sora? So Sora has come somewhere. So what was the Sora and where? Inside the womb. Other mother. So the injury is in the womb. Where mother was having some tension, stress. She secreted adrenaline or epinephrine, nor epinephrine, which went and injured the child's eyes, which gave inflammation and which then blocked the that inflammation got converted into thickness and sclerocornea took place and that's why the child was born blind without pupils because that eyes could not get hurt again. Is it clear? And now let us see what happens after our treatment. Go ahead. They said he could not see. He could not see. Now, after 18 months. See how the child is turned. See how he's going to the grandfather. What is the color of the child? What is the He's from South. <laughs> Difficult. Difficult. Purple color. There is always hope for the hopeless with right homeopathy. If the homeopathy in practice is correct, genetically correct, you can get these results. Now, if you have to learn the people, you can give them a name. So, we will arrange regular this thing. We can train you for that, such a thing. But I want sincere people 
I don't want insist there at all. If you are, if you have to make your make up your mind today, if you want to practice correct homeopathy or wrong. If you want to have ordinary to become ordinary homeopath, don't come. Please don't come. But if you are coming to me, you should be strict in your observation of the Herring's law and my assumption. जिनको अच्छे तरह से सीखना है आओ कभी भी वी आर नॉट चार्जिंग एनी थिंग फॉर दिस बट वी वॉन्ट योर टू बी डेवलप इन टू गुड होमोपैथ इट इज नॉट फॉर नथिंग दैट आई एम डूइंग दिस आई वॉन्ट होमोपैथी टू प्रॉस्पर सो दैट अदर होमोपैथ आई मीन अदर पीपल सी दिस रिजल्ट गेट द सेम रिजल्ट एंड नो दैट होमोपैथी इज मच सुपीरियर दैन एलोपैथी वी वॉन्ट वॉन्ट होमोपैथी विच इज इंफीरियर वी वॉन्ट अंडली क्लास होमोपैथी and homeopathy of this sort where allopathy fails homeopathy should begin any questions any question chalo question puchho na yeah how far is this result i recognize by allopathy seeing is believing <laughs> this this uh, most of the cases are sent to us by allopaths only homeopaths don't believe <laughs> allopaths are very frank allopaths are good in their in their conferences because i am a member of uh, gph general practitioners association i find them so open say straight away they say that we cannot do this they will take others opinion and they will also i like that these are the researches which are going on but homeopaths are so egoistic that they don't want to watch from their wrong homeopathy they feel that they are doing the right thing and then they don't want to change so be it let them do we are not bothered at all but we want to take homeopathy to that dizzy height where it rightfully belongs and now because of this crusade against corruption this is a right time <laughs> to remove corrupt homeopaths good and nice and pure homeopathy should come up and it should be used for the poor we are having at least 10 camps going on in the whole of india these are not camps these are clinics every 3 months i am attending personally 5 to 6 bombay Mahabaleshwar, we uh, are three of our main things here. Then we have started at Jalandhar, Ludhiana, where Dr. Mahavi and Firozpur, three places in Punjab. Delhi, Dr. Kamal is looking after. Firozpur, Dr. Didar Singh is looking after. In Gwalior, Indore, and Bhopal, Dr. Jay Singh, who has been trained under me for last. Four years. He is looking up. He and his two sisters are looking up. And everywhere we are getting same results, consistent results. And if you want to come, come and see the results. Those who have seen it already, they know what it is. Twentieth October. Kabi hai? Twenty-nine September is now. Wish for twentieth October is that October. Every Every camp we will we will see more than 1,500 cases. Alopas themselves come, but they don't. The alopas have got faith that, as I told you, it is the homeopaths who don't have faith. It is the alopas who are recognizing right homeopathy because we are talking in their terms. In Rome, do as Romans do. If you go to Rome and ta start talking in Marathi, Hindi, Urdu, they will not recognize you. This was what was used to happen when I used to go to the medical because I was practicing allopathy for practicing allopath, and from practicing allopath to practicing homeopath, there was a marked change. So when I went, I, when I used to go there, they used to ask me, "Are you going to have a typhoid kind of disease? Are you going to have?" Typhoid के लिए दवा है क्या? Then I should say, no, no, we treat the vital force. The vital force क्या होता है? 
I had no answer. At that time, I had no answer. You know what? Then you ask Sora, psychosis, syphilis, and all that. I was coming up. So, this is what happens to us when we are talking in our language. But if we tell them in their language, now as these children who have passed out, they were not aware that this, they have learned pathology of trauma. Trauma ka pathology malum hai. First inflammation, then induration, and then necrosis of hypothesis. Ye sab ko malum hai. Lekin did you know that this is solar psychosis syphilis? Did you know that this is the way the human body is talking? And the same thing has been recognized by Dr. Hanuman 200 years back. It is not my version. Hanuman has already mentioned it 74 years back that body tries to defend itself. That time pathology was not there. Pathology as a subject was not there. Hanuman has talked about genes also. Do you know where? Hypothesis number 81. Go and go and study. And he has talked about how the gen genetic variations and mutation takes place as inheritance. Whereas, whereas we thought that Mendel is the father of genetics. If actually, if we homeopaths were to stand together, we should say that Hanuman should get a Nobel Prize posthumously. Even after 200 years, he will be honored. Because what he has discovered at that time, people have still not understood. Now the Time Magazine says that disease travels. We have not talked about, talked about disease travel here at all. The theory of suppression. If you read my book, you will come to know. I have published this book in 1996, 2006 was this, 2002 or 2003 was this article. And Hanuman has written about it in 1820. Just imagine, <coughs> same thing. So, Aj, everybody, now everybody, we are talking about, today we are talking about stem cells and stem cell stimulation. What have I done here? Same thing. But with homeopathic stimulation. I will show you cases of completely atrophied cerebellum coming back again to normal. How? Stem cell stimulation. How does a blind man start seeing? How does a deaf start hearing? Atrophy of the child, children born with atrophy of the optic nerve start seeing. Children born without lenses. Ek, ek for a change, how? Pupils. Are people that are lens, people lens. A child born without, one's own child, diagnosed as permanently blind, in the Prasad Institute. Itna Musa, pass go on. Elvi Prasad Institute is the biggest institute for eyes in India, in the south, in Hyderabad. From here they went there, because doctors referred them there. And they said this child will never be able to see because this child, there is no evidence of crystallized lens. Lens nahi hai. Or the, uh, this thing was also not proper. The shape of the eye is not proper. Anomaly in both the eyes. And this child, the parents were informed that this child will never be able to see. The father, grandfather, they so angry, tore away this. Developmental anomaly in both eyes. Segment developmental anomaly in both eyes. The line lens was seen. And the parents have been explained the position. And after her treatment, ah, she also has sclerocornea. She also has sclerocornea, complete white eye. Gradually blackness started coming out, pupils. 
Now she goes to catch something. After one year, she is straight away accurate. Pehle kya tha? Aise 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 karti thi na? Kya ho gaya? Aise hai? But true homeopathy, correct homeopathy. Those who do not practice right homeopathy will never see Erin's law coming true. Because <coughs> it has to be seen in all cases, whether it's acute or not. And they will never ever see astounding results like this. They will never see results beyond itching and scratching. <laughs> And they also keep scratching only then how to do what, what to do in this patient. And you go any amount of into deep, deeper and deeper into the mind, you will not get results because mind is not the only thing. The genes are the main thing which you have to do very good time. And patient has to be treated holistically, not either by body homeopathy or mental homeopathy. It is the genes which rule. Then you will see astounding results. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And one thing I saw. And one fast thing I saw. One. What name is that? Anita Ayurvade. Short. Well, I, got, I was called to give a lecture in uh, IMA. Hmm? 450 surgeons. Surgeons and doctors and gynecologists and MDs. And before me, a ghanta the other. Before me, one uh, this fellow stood up, surgeon and uh, uh, gastroenterologist surgeon, and he gave a wonderful lecture on how surgery has advanced, and now they are doing laser surgery for removing cyst, cyst in the liver. I have heard cyst anyway. And then he went one step ahead after having impressed people all around. Then he went one step ahead and said that I'll show you now what is the recent technique which I have brought from US. And what is that? Then, then uh, he said, uh, now I can sit in Bombay and operate, operate 500 kilometers apart by having robotic surgery. So first he showed with laser, that means scarless surgery, and then he showed robot, sorry, robotic surgery, remote control. And people were highly impressed, clapped, he went down, and after which homeopathy to go. <laughs> that, that time I changed my whole lecture. I was sitting on the first listening, when I saw that I was going to say something about homeopathy, I was going to say that vital force and sora psychosis syphilis. What I showed was this case. And I want to see this. This is an ascites. This lady is also suffering, was suffering from cyst in the liver. Multiple cyst, not one cyst. Ten cyst and ten hemangiomas. I asked very humbly, I said, I am very highly impressed with Dr. Swanso's lecture. I would like to just ask him, what can you do about do with your surgery in such case. We cannot do anything because you can't have so many holes in the liver. There will be then no holes in the liver but liver in the holes. <laughs> you can't do anything. Such cases are exceptional and that is a limitation. I said yes, but let us see whether it is a limitation for us. And I will show you about this case. 
center. Let us see what we can do with homeopathy. Then I showed this case. This is 500 kilometers apart. This lady was lying on the jet plane at Satara. See her, only her photograph and video was brought to me. This is how she was looking and her history was given by her husband and her sister. That's her. And I prescribed on the phone, I mean I took the history on the phone, prescribed the patient something and I the patient took some, you know, one dose and SL. <laughs> my, my clinic is also known as the SL boy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And I showed them, okay, let us see what homeopathy can do. See, multiple 5 to 7 well defined hypoarchic lesions and this and that, etc. Measuring 24 by 16 mm, and there were a lot of cystic changes and what are what products? Hemangiomas, there were hemangiomas also noted in both the lobes, etc. So, multiple cysts also, multiple hemangiomas also. Right. Doctor said we, we, we can only tap. I said, don't do, don't tap. The surgeon was like, tap. We'll do tapping. That is the commonest thing. Yes. Uh, those doctors, children were there, ask your father and mother, what do you say? Tapping. Is the only way. But now, friends, what is this SIT? It's a defense mechanism. Why is the defense mechanism? To protect the liver. So, liver is sore, and water is only a water bed. When you are, you are old, grandfather or grandmother is sick and when he gets ulcers here, you put him on a water, water bed, no? Why? Because there should not be friction. So, defense mechanism only you are trying to remove. Even in the lungs, water is a defense mechanism, do you see? But you should be able to treat that inflammation inside. Eh? So, if you can reduce the inflammation, with correct homeopathic medicine, with right constitutional medicine, right genetic constitutional medicine, then the psychosis, the water bed is not required, neither for lung nor for this. All that I gave was medicine to remove her trauma, mental as well as physical, whatever trauma she had received and which has reflected on the liver. The liver became less and less uh, so, and see how this thing went on reducing. But so gradually, see that how it is reducing. Again, ah, she said, ah, where? Where are you going to pay? She is also surprised. Huh? Huh? She is looking better or not? Huh? Until she started working at home, until she came to my clinic to be with I saw her for the first time. And she could actually bend and touch my face. Gone. And now. Healthy? Healthy look? And multiple cysts completely disappear. Have you followed this? Have you seen 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 Incidentally, even I did a laser <laughs> surgery, scarless surgery, there is no scar on the abdomen. And I also performed robotic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. What the difference between these two, with our honorable so and so doctor and my homeopathy is that he used external robot, I used the internal robot which God has given us to cure us and which you all have forgotten but we homeopaths have not. Did you get the evil cuts of <coughs> That 
by using the own immune system as I told you defense mechanism given by God I have cured it in the most natural way whereas and then I asked him can you can you vouch that it will never recur no it is going to recur I said I can guarantee it will not this is the difference between homeopathy and allopathy but if practiced correctly right homeopathy so remember right homeopathy and wrong homeopathy there are two types of homeopathy 99% are wrong homeopathy and I, now it is reducing 95, 94 or rather even 18 almost 20% are doing good homeopaths now and they are coming into minority <coughs> the wrong homeopath who tell that lot of uh, limitations are there for homeopathy that homeopathy cannot cure this homeopathy cannot cure that that limitation <coughs> is of the homeopaths the limitation is of the lack of knowledge the more you get knowledge the more your scope increases you cannot be gods remember you cannot be all powerful that you can cure everything be humble and down to earth but at least give this beautiful science its proud pride of place as a queen of therapeutic sciences where it probably belongs with this I would like to end my lecture thank you for giving me a patient hearing thank you